If you're looking for the best AI research assistant, Notebook LM and Afri are two great options. Now, I've included my favorite AI assistants in this Notion spreadsheet, including tons of other secret money-making tools to 10x your business. If you want free access to this Notion spreadsheet, just click the link in my description and fill out the form. Now, if you're comparing between Afri and Paper Guide, which is also an AI research assistant, I created this short five question quiz that you can fill out to determine which of these two AI research assistants is right for you. But today we are comparing Notebook LM and Afri. So this is Notebook LM. Now this is by Google and it is completely free. So the way this works is you can create uh, multiple workbooks and in each workbook has various documents that you can essentially chat with. So to upload a document, you click here and you can drag and drop all of your files right here. So the supported file types are PDFs, text files, markdowns, and also audio files. You can also connect your Google Drive. You can add links to websites and YouTube videos and you can also copy and paste text as well. Now, one thing to note is that the source limit is 50, so you can only upload up to 50 sources per notebook. So as you can see on the left-hand side, I uploaded nine PDFs from Search Engine Journal, all about SEO, uh, content marketing, and PPC. And I also included a note here as one of my sources, and I'll go over this notes um, in a moment. Okay, so once you've uploaded all of your sources, you can essentially start chatting with it. So I can say something like summarize all of the PDFs. Okay, here we go. So it generated a summary of all of the PDFs that I've uploaded and it kind of organized it into various sections. So out of the nine PDFs, there is a section about SEO best practices and strategies. And Notebook LM also included um, the sources as well. So if you click on any of the numbers, it'll jump to that specific piece of content that it pulled from. So this is a great way to check exactly what the AI is reading, and you can read the document yourself to verify and also get some further additional information. Now, Notebook LM also provides us with some predefined prompts as well. So it reads the uh, documents and then it provides you with some suggestions like what two main categories encompass Google's web page ranking signals, name three common manual penalties, so on and so forth. So if you want to ask this, uh, just click on that and the prompt will go up here and the AI will answer it. Okay, so it says the sources indicate that Google utilizes a complex algorithm with over 200 ranking signals, so on and so forth. And then you can check the citations as well. You can copy this and paste it elsewhere and you can save to a note, okay? So if you want to kind of save this for future reference, you can click on save to note. So let me click on save to note. Okay, so this is my note. We can rename it something like Google algorithm. Okay, so that is uh, my note here. And I also saved other couple of other responses here. Now you can actually feed this into your sources list as well. Okay, so if you want this note to be referenced by the AI, you can click here and then convert selected notes to source. So now this note will be one of my sources. You can also manually add various notes as well. And say, for example, if maybe you only want to chat with one source, just click on whatever source. And you can see here it says one source and you can start chatting with this one source. So I can say something like summarize this doc and the AI will only take a look at this specific PDF and provide me with a summary. It says here is a summary of the document. And then it also included citations of all the places in the document that it pulled from by clicking on any of the numbers right here. Now, one thing I'm noticing is that the responses are quite long, which is actually good because there are many um, AI wrappers out there that limit the total number of words that the AI generates for you. 
Um, but just looking at this response, it's uh, quite long. Uh, let me ask the AI um, if it can count the number of words. How many words did you generate in your last response? So let's see if it kind of understands what I'm talking about. Okay, so it says the sources and conversation history do not provide word counts for responses. Now, you should be using this AI primarily to just chat with your sources. You can't use this like ChatGPT where you can ask just general questions. It's more geared towards the sources that you upload. So you can chat specifically with your sources and it's less general, so not something that you would use to replace ChatGPT with. Now, there are some other great features as well. So if you click on Notebook Guide, you can have the AI create an FAQ, a study guide, a table of contents. So if you are writing an article on your website, you can create a table of contents and add it to your article or any research paper, create a timeline and also a briefing doc that you can share with others. And it also provides you with an automatic summary of your source. And you can also convert your sources into a podcast which I think is very unique, especially if you have tons of sources and you don't wanna spend your time reading, you could actually convert it into a podcast and listen to all the information pulled from your sources. Now I created this um, earlier today, but let me click on load and uh, let me play a few seconds of this podcast. Okay, so let's play this really quick. Welcome to the deep dive, everybody. We're going deep into SEO and content marketing today. Sounds good. So uh, we've got tons of articles and guides, expert insights, all that good stuff. And to help us connect the dots, we have, as always, our expert. Hi. So one article talked about how the term SEO itself came from the manager of Jefferson Starship back in the 90s. Yeah. Crazy, right? It's true. The band's website wasn't doing well, so he started working with, uh, with Pro... All right, there you go. So it's a very entertaining way and a more fun way to consume content and learn from various files um, that you upload here. You can also share this audio as well by making it public and copying the share link. And you can also change the playback speed, download it or delete it. And the AI also provided us with questions as well, like what audience needs are addressed by the content? How do content and technical SEO intersect for success? So all of these questions are already related to the topic of your sources. Now, Afri is similar, but also very different. Okay, so you first need to upload documents into your reference manager. Afri is also more geared towards teams and communicating with others. It's also more academic focused. So if you are in college and you're working with your team, you can very easily share documents with others in your team. They can access it and review it. So you can create a library. So create a shared library or view any shared library invites here. You can also import data from other reference managers and it'll attempt to find the corresponding paper online to attach to your reference and you can also upload any file or document you want including urls and you can also manually create documents as well so you can copy and paste pieces to form an article or even a magazine article newspaper broadcast book so on and so forth so I already uploaded the nine same PDFs that I uploaded into Notebook LM. If you click on any of the files, you could view some general um, information here, the citation, also any notes uh, that you've created as you are reading and researching. So these are some notes that I created earlier today. You can also view uh, the file. You can read it and write any notes um, that you want. So say, for example, I want to um, highlight uh, this word. I can click on text highlights and then highlight that. You can also change uh, the color if you want by clicking on the drop down, picking your color, and then making any highlights, and even add a sticky note. And then add your notes right here as you are reading and researching the document. And then I could view all of my notes on the right hand panel right here. I can also mention a teammate or a AI model so I can communicate with my teammates here or even do additional research with the help of AI. 
So I can ask the AI to summarize this document, but first I need to choose my AI model. So we have Azure and we also have Claude. You can also, you can also bring your own model to Afri via open router, but natively you only have Claude and Azure, but with Notebook LM, they're using Google's AI, but with Afri natively on the tool, you only have access to two LLMs. Let's do Claude 3.5 Sonnet. So now I'm chatting with Claude with this PDF as context. So I can say something like, summarize this document in one paragraph. Okay, and it is over here and here we go. So this document provides a comprehensive guide to SEO, so on and so forth. Okay, now let's go back to our um, library right here. So once you are ready, you can write your papers by clicking on document uh, writer. So you can write your uh, paper right here. You can format your text. You can chat with AI and also insert a citation wherever you want. Now, when it comes to chatting with AI, this tool isn't necessarily geared towards content creation. It's mainly just to do research with the help of AI. Okay, so if I highlight this, conduct thorough keyword research, I can click on chat with AI. So we can see my text right here, and then we can type to start researching. You can also um, use a prompt that you've saved. You can mention a connected paper, and you can also connect your document to the AI assistant and ask research questions on your writing. So you can use the documents you've uploaded as context. So you can turn it off or turn it on. And you can also choose from the various AI models. And you can also do document retrieval, which is to conduct your research using your uploaded files, complete with citations. There is a semantic scholar. So you can augment your research with data from a 200 million peer reviewed research papers database, incorporate Google search, or just use no tool, but I want to do document retrieval. And regarding the actual documents, if you click on this gear icon, you can select any specific document or the entire folder, which I'm going to do right here. So now that I have all of my settings set, I can say something like, what other documents mention keyword research? Now let's see what it uh, brings up. One little quirk I'm noticing is that I always need to click on scroll to bottom to actually see the latest uh, uh, content that's being generated. So I'm always having to scroll down. It doesn't automatically scroll down for you. Okay, so here we go. So it says, here are the key points on how to conduct thorough keyword research for SEO. So it lists out the various uh, sources and then provides uh, the text as well. And then you could also view the data sources listed right here. So there's one, two, three, four, five sources that it pulled from. And then you can also view the bibliography and also view the file from there as well. And then you can read the document and do additional research. You can also add the answer to the document. You can copy the response or regenerate uh, the answer. Okay, now let me close the research assistant. Um, and it's kind of similar to Notion where you can have this list of formatting options. You can insert a table, an image, a divider, so on and so forth. Uh, you can also insert a citation. Sometimes it's hard to have that pop up show up. You kind of need to highlight some text and then click on insert citation, go to your library and okay, no results found. Um, let's see here, related papers, newest paper, first view all references in your library, open your references. Okay, so to insert a citation, we need to click on your references and find the file you want to reference, then click insert citation. So there you go. I also want to show you the research assistant window right here. So yes, you can chat with all of your um, connected uh, files. So this is another way you can chat. Aside from the uh, document writer, you can actually just purely focus on the chat mode and use the AI to help you do um, your research with the documents you've uploaded. And same thing like the previous screen, you can choose your AI model, um, choose whether you want document retrieval, semantic scholar, Google search, or no tool. So as you can see, Afri is much more 
academic focused. It's also more geared towards uh, writing as well. So you can write your articles inside this tool, but with Notebook LM, it's a little bit more uh, watered down. It's not as academic focused. You basically just upload your sources and then you can ask the AI anything you want, create various notes to help you memorize things and help you conduct research. Afri is a little bit more advanced. There's also team features as well. So if you have a team, Afri would be the way to go. Also, if you want to do like serious research where you are inserting citations in a proper way, Afri also is the tool for that. But if you want something a little bit more quick and dirty, like for me personally, I'm no longer in school. I don't really do extensive research with a team. If I'm doing research, it's more of that quick and dirty research where I just upload tons of documents and then I just want to use the AI to summarize things for me. And if I have specific questions, I can have the AI I answer them. So personally for me, I would go with Notebook LM, but if you are in school, um, then Afri would be a better option for you. Now I added Afri in my Notion spreadsheet of the best SaaS tools to 10X your business. I update this regularly. So if you want free access, click the link in my description. And if you wanna compare between Afri and Paper Guide and see which of these AI assistance is right for you, make sure to complete the quiz, smash that like button for me, subscribe to my channel, and check out any of these other videos on the screen. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.